Welcome back everyone to episode 12 of the United States series for Power and Revolution 2021. So last episode we were undergoing a energy shortage and right now we currently have a surplus of 14 terawatts which really isn't that much at all. Um, in order to grow everything the way that I want it to. Um, we're definitely going to need more energy. And building up the energy will give us some time to wait for air base in Ukraine and the naval base being built in Taiwan. So we're not going to do anything with those two bases yet. We're going to wait until they're finished being built before we start making moves. And overall, like I said in the beginning of the series, going to try to strengthen our relationship with the rest of the continent. Um, Venezuela is going to be an obstacle, and it looks like Brazil and Argentina will be as well. So, in the meantime, let's uh, let's build up the energy so we can start building up like we want to. So I want to get this so I want to get the 3G nuclear plants up to about 40 or close to it. And hopefully this has a positive effect on our economy. And after this, we're going to start building up um, some oil wells. We have four more left to build up. All right, so we have forty. Um, so hydroelectricity, I'm going to build 13 more. Geothermal, we're going to build about 25. And biomass. I'm 
I'm going to do 50. And let's see if we can build some more oil wells and maybe get close to 70. All right, so let's get all right. So Mississippi, let's highlight that. All right, so I already built there. Okay, so let's try Kansas. All right, so how many? All right, so we have three so far, and we're going to build two more. Right, now we're gonna try Nebraska. All right, so we're going to do two more. All right, and just out of curiosity, I want to see where we stand that on oil for the world. All right, so right now we're the number one producer of oil, but we're not maintaining the uh, supply for our demand. So we need to get that supply up. Once it meets demand, hopefully it'll start to drop a little bit and the country can start moving in a better direction. Um, let's see. So how many? Okay, we have 67. So let's do... Let's see if we can get three more somewhere.
For some reason, I don't think we're going to find much in South Dakota. Okay, so let's see about the. Okay, we found the location. Um, So let's try to do about three more. Okay, let's go ahead and drill where it's weak. It's still some oil is just not going to be as strong as the others. There we go. All right, so we currently have 41 and we're going to have a total of 72. So let's increase that workforce. Um, So we currently have 13,000 employees and we're going to try to get that up to about 20,000. Um, let's just add another 2,000 on to that. And inflation is really going sky high, even with it being 20%. So we're just going to go ahead and drop that. And then we need... Need better production. So we're going to increase the hours to 50. We're going to increase the minimum wage. The bill has been voted on, but unfortunately, the law has not been passed. Okay, let's go to taxation and we're going to give amnesty on the small offenses. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. It's true that the blow cannot really be described as fatal. Two arrests. But... Okay, and let's increase our special agents to another hundred. 
and increase our counterintelligence. All right, let's put a halt to the missile production. All right, let's meet with Belize. So this is going to help strengthen our ties and hopefully we can make some kind of arrangement with um, Nicaragua or Honduras or we could just send uh, some agents in there and create a uh, situation so that we can have an excuse to either go in these countries or persuade them to start having uh, diplomatic relations with us. All right, Guatemala. Let's increase that to... All right, so let's start dealing with these terrorist groups. Um, let's address the Russian Mafia. And let's put our special agent in... Let's put our special agent in China. Right, so in the housing market, let's add about 20,000 new homes. And let's start trying to uh, increase production in the farming sector. But first, we need to increase our water supply. All right, and beef. Let's put about two billion in that. Um, Colza, that's good for biofuel. Um, let's do about three billion. Bow, we're gonna do a Another price reduction. All right, potatoes. And vegetables. 
I was doing extra five billion. Do you think it's reasonable? Let's see if they'll let us on their land. Okay, they will. Very kind. No thanks. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. The decree takes effect as of today. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. Okay, so that passed, so we should be producing a lot more. Um, and we already compensated by raising the minimum minimum wage. Now let's go to research. And increase human and social science. Okay, is inflation is still going up? Doesn't seem to be going up as quickly as before. All right, so we just gave some raises to civil servants. Um, hopefully that will slow down inflation a little bit more. No, not going to do that. So let's see, who's the largest producer of vehicles and it's China. So we're going to put a twenty percent tariff. Electric vehicles. I believe it's China that's the largest producer also. And it is. So. Oh, you already have it at 35. I'll leave it at that. And then, let's not forget that our runner has always publicly supported your policies, and that's good for your image. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes without saying that the operation is risky, but if successful, the short and long-term benefits are... Alright, so let's see how much more time we have. So we have another 30 days. So 
So let's give Russia something else to worry about. Everything is ready! The welcome and the accommodation of the delegations, the sequence of the competition, the security around the sports compounds, everything is perfectly prepared so that the World Championship can be a celebration of sports. Your presence is the only thing left to discuss. As the host country, we hope that you will be able to honor the event with your presence on at least one day. Do you agree to this? Okay, so we borrowed 183 billion. Um, let's see. So, no, I don't want to do that. So we want to build a uh, better relationship with the truckers. Right, we're not thinking about that. All right, and let's see how much longer for Taiwan. About 31 days. So let's go to research and Spill three multidisciplinary centers. Increase the funding for space program. My fellow countrymen and women, on this solemn day, I want to express my pride and affection. Today, while celebrating the history and genius of our beautiful country, I wish to remember what unites us rather than what divides us in order to look into the future with confidence. Our sportsmen are ready. And let's take a look at our cabinet. Um... Okay, so the lowest uh, lowest ranking one is the vice president. Big surprise there. So we're going to disassociate ourselves with her. That's still higher than what she really is. But I won't get into that. The competition will begin in a week. All our athletes are in top form. As I predicted, 
the systematic analysis of the habits of small groups has allowed us to strike a serious blow at the terrorists. We can now state with certainty that we have entered into a Najaf cycle, which is no less than an incitement to... Okay, so we took out 15% of East Ambas. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. So even before we um, start our operation, we've taken out a lot of um, taken out a lot of their group, but they're still winning against Ukraine. So let's give another 200 million. All right, our growth is at 10.44. Um, let's see. Which country do we want to address also? All right, Libya. So we're going to create a network for dealing with Libya. Want to dismantle the terrorist groups. And we can pull some, uh, I'm going to pull some agents from Afghanistan. And put some in Syria and the rest in Ukraine. Go to taxation. Right, really couldn't think of a name for this, so that's the next best thing. Actually, it's 2022. Raise that up to eight. So we increase company turnover. See what else we can address. OK, 
Okay, so then bumped it up to 88%. Help um, the workers. We're just going to get try to get rid of the uh, illegal immigrants. And we have high support for that. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. We know that undocumented workers work illegally in many companies which maintain them in unbearable and precarious situations while escaping taxation. This proposed regulation is intended to bring humanity, common sense, and the law into the functioning of our society. society. Okay, let's look at unemployment. All right, I think I'm going to end this episode. Um, I pretty much uh, finished my move, so I'm in my new house now. Um, so there, there's going to be a lot more videos coming. Because I'll be trying to play catch up now. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for the support. Please click the like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you soon.